Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Ground has been broken for the construction of the Bound Brook Urban Center in Port Antonio, East Portland. The $4.2 billion project will house government entities, including a tax office, as well as private sector entities, including a business process outsourcing facility. It will have 148,000 square feet of space. It is being constructed by China Harbor Engineering Company, Czech. Prime Minister Andrew Honus spoke at the groundbreaking ceremony. And funding for the Boundbrook Urban Center is being provided by the National Commercial Bank, NCB. Barita Investments Limited, as well as CIBC, will be operating the lending agency, uh, operating as a lending agency. We apologize for the absence of that bite. In the meantime, the timeline for the completion of the Morant Bay Urban Center has been pushed back to December 2024. Chairman of the Factories Corporation of Jamaica, FCJ Littleton Shirley, gave the update. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the technical issues happening, but let's continue. Mr. Shirley explained that there are a number of things causing the delay. China Harbor Engineering Company, Czech is building the $6 billion center being financed by NCB Capital Market. Now let's head to the markets today. The Jamaican dollar has hit a new record low compared to the U.S. currency. At the close of trading today, an American dollar is being sold for an average $158.26 Jamaican. This is the highest average selling rate for the U.S. compared to the local currency on record. Now the latest, the last record low was set about a week ago on August 8 at $158.12. Now as for the other benchmarks, the Canadian dollar is being sold for $115.36. $202.88 is the average value of the pound while the euro is going for $175.00. 28 cents. Now to the stock market. The JSE index declined by 2,452 points, while the Juno market fell by 24 points. Among the 32 winners were VM Investments, Epley Caribbean Property Fund, SCC, Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Sterling Investments, and Elite Diagnostic. The 46 losers included AS Bryden and Sons Holdings, as out of Trinidad and Tobago, The Lab, Edufocal, Access Financial Services, and ISP Financial Services. 19 stocks closed the session, selling at the same price they started trading. And that is it for the Financial Week. I am Javon Keyes. Good evening.